All right, so we will begin with uh, browsing to this computer and then we can go to network and inside network we can see here we have it. <laughs> Link server, this is what I've called the other computer here. That's very beautiful. So now we know we have it here and we know what it's called. You're gonna search for remote so we can see remote desktop connection. And here we can see show options. So we can see we have an old desktop connection here. And what we basically do is we'll write in the name of the PC. The username, allow me to save credentials and connect. And then you write in your password. And there we are. We're now into the uh, other computer. So we can now use this computer as our own computer from this computer. Very spacey, but very nice. So that's really fantastic. And that's, you know, basically how you set up a remote desktop connection. Now we have this uh, saved here, but we can save this if we want to have different types of uh, desktop connections. We can just uh, save this as a file so we can launch the file uh, to get up the connection. It's really handy. We also have some uh, settings here we can change, like if you want to limit the speed of the connection. And uh, yeah, usually you don't need to play around very much with these, but you can kind of do that. You can uh, decrease some color depth for the remote connection as well if you don't need all that. Um, we can do that for fun. Let's set it to 16 bit and we can change the window size so let's change it to 720 and connect don't ask me this again and okay oh there we go we're into it again you can see the color depth is worse but that's fine anyways that's how to do it hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and if you did leave a like this is your host, Jim Odessen, signing out.